Okay, we're we're laying out the the cabin to getting ready to put the the footings in for the piers. We'll actually have six piers, uh, one at each corner and then one halfway in between to help support the seal logs. And then I'll I'll also be running a girder down through the middle of the joists that we'll be using. If you've watched our, some of our videos, I think it's actually maybe the third video that we did. Uh, we laid out the foundation, the footing for the little smokehouse, and I went into quite a bit of detail on how to lay out with the strings, uh, the batter boards, and we're using a water level again. And uh, I already have one corner established for the level on that uh, far corner down there. And that batter board is set about 20, 22 inches, depending on where you're measuring on the ground, from the ground. And I want the seal logs, the bottom of the seal log, to be at least 20 inches off the ground. And the reason I'm doing that is for rain dripping off the roof before we get the, a gutter on that side and that will help to prevent the water from splashing up on the logs. That's something that you want to do everything you can to keep the logs dry. That actually is, geographically speaking, I guess, the ground is the highest right there, so I chose that point to be 20 inches, and it'll change around the, at the other three corners some. So we're going to get started here. I've got that set of batter boards established. We have the young lady down there with the water level. She's helped me do this before, so she knows what to do. Take your thumb off now. And just let me know when you see the water on the top of the batter board at the corner. Now I'll adjust mine. You just let yours stay still. Eighth below? Yeah. Okay. You're there? Yep. We'll be doing this at all four corners, and I'm just going to take a level and sit on that mark right there and level across the stake. And then we'll be putting our batter boards up. And I can put this batter board up and get it level and screwed to the stake and then put this batter board up and get it level and screwed to the stake. We'll do that at all four corners and then we'll start establishing our strings which will actually determine the perimeter of the cabin which will be 12 to 16. We've got logs at the mill for the cabin build. Those are sweet. A little muddy around here. Had quite a bit of rain, freeze, and thaw. Yeah, those are some sweet, sweet logs. And some more over here. I'm anxious to get them on some saw horses. Sweet stuff, 18 footers, 20. Some shorter stuff. There's one that's got a little character to it on top. But it's workable. We'll make it happen. Oh gosh, I'm excited. These are the oak logs that I cut and brought down to use for the floor joist in the cabin that we're going to be building. We've got logs at the mill, they're ready to saw, and I thought I'd get the jump on some of this. And I went up and brought these down, cut them, and 
and got them out of the, the woods. I'll cut a flat spot on the top of these all the way down the length of it and uh, I'll work off of that flat spot and I'll show you how I'll do that. Well, in fact, I did one just for the fun of it and I'll take you over there and show you what I did. This is one of the floor joists. You can see it's been flattened on the top. I actually hewed that with a broad axe and then I came back across it with my planer and I planed it to kind of clean it up. You can still see some of the score marks in there before I hewed it. And I cut a tenon on the tip and on the butt. And I wrote the size of the tip, the height and the width. And I'll be cutting pockets in the seal logs and this will give me something that's actually real true to uh, to set in the seal logs. I wrote tip on there and on the other end I wrote butt. You can see a center line there. I'll be showing you how to do that. And you can see this mark right here, this line across, that is actually the control line It'll be the inside face of the seal log. And these are oak. I had to peel them. And after they sit and dry just a little bit, I'm going to come back over them with a grinder. And all this brown stuff you see, that's still cambium layer. And I want to get all of that off of there. And so I'm going to let, them, let the sun dry them out a little bit. And then I'll grind all that stuff off. Or you can come back with a draw knife and hit it again. This is the butt. And there again is the control of the inside face. And the center line you see here, get ready for that. There's going to be a lot of the center line stuff. And we'll be showing you how to come up with that and to work from the center line out either direction. We'll be doing that on our notch faces or notch dimensions. When we, when we lay out the, the notches, we'll be working from a center line on the logs on the inside face and on the outside. And you can see perhaps a line coming right straight down here. Well, you can see it a little bit better right there towards the bottom. That was transferred from the inside face down. And then I worked out from either direction on that to get the, the actual width of the tenon and the height of it. And I cut a little bit of the bevel back. Just not really all that necessary to clean that up like I did. But if you start on something that's not really even going to be seen on your, on your cabin and you kind of learn how to get things real accurate and clean, you'll develop a good habit and you'll carry that all, all the way through your cabin build. And as you go, you'll become even more particular with how things look and how clean things are. It's a good habit to be in.